Aimins and Mountain LPR cameras for a 16mm and 25mm as well as using the Aimin tool. First we need to understand which camera we have. Flip the camera over and look at the other side on the barcode. Above uh, and below the barcode are a set of numbers. I've highlighted where and within those numbers you can find the, the numbers that correlate to a uh, millimeter focal length. 25 and the 925 there represents 25mm. If it was 16 it would be 16 be 916 actually. For a 16 millimeter camera you're working at a focal length of about 12 feet. This camera is only used for parking lots for cars per parked perpendicular to the officer. 25 millimeter cameras are used uh, at an angle at a 17 foot distance used to capture plates on 45 degree parking spots as well as perpendicular. Please note that uh, perpendicular park cars will have about a 5% accuracy reduction however in the field on my demo kits uh, I can tell you I use 25 millimeter all the time in a parking lot without problems. 25 millimeter can also be used for vehicles passing the officer on one lane over to the on the uh, right as well as vehicles parallel parked that the officer would be passing themselves. Again the distance is about 17 feet. Uh, you need to make sure that the camera is lined up for the sweet spot the sweet spot is about you know four by six by four foot depth window that the plate has to fall within. Now within the aiming tool, there's three different levels that you got to be aware of for the plate, meaning high plates, medium plates, and low plates. And I'll go through that a little bit more to show you how to actually use that. But you want to make sure that it's captured within that sweet spot uh, to help improve accuracy. Now here's a 25 millimeter mounted on the vehicle at about a 45 degree angle using magnet mounts there, light bar mount, at a 45 degree. Also can capture plates perpendicular as well as alongside the camera. For a 16 millimeter camera, it's typically mounted uh, perpendicular there and it will be behind the 25 millimeter camera. And it will be, uh, again, its only focus is for parked cars that are exactly um, perpendicular to the uh, vehicle as it goes through a uh, parking lot. Now let's look at a uh, trunk mount if you're using a trunk mount. If you're using a trunk mount, you do not want to place the cameras too close to the back windshield. You want to space them back further, uh, in particular uh, the plate, the ones on the uh, left side so that the camera has the ability to shoot around the police vehicle and capture uh, plates of vehicles coming across. On the 25 and 16 millimeter cameras, they can be a little bit closer, but you still don't want to be too close because you want to shoot out around and capture parallel parked. Now, let's see what happens when we try aiming it. Our test subject in this parking lot is this blue Honda Civic here. And I'm going to drive up and position a car about 17 feet away. I've uh, previously checked to see about how far it would be, so I'm driving the white car up. Uh, the cameras are mounted on top, as you can see and I position the car in the optimal spot that I would expect the camera to capture the plate as I drive through a parking lot. Now let's look to see what it looks like inside the car on my laptop screen as I get close. This is the video feed. This is just a still shot. This is a video feed here. See I select the video. I turn on the aiming tool. Here is the 4 by 6 viewing area switch to color and then back to infrared and you want to always aim in infrared and you want to drive so that the plate falls within this 4x6 area and then you need to decide whether or not you're working with a high plate, a medium plate or a low plate. In this particular instance we're working with a medium plate uh, so we want the plate to come into this 4x6 view and then also fall within this middle um, box here. So we're going to take the vehicle and watching the camera, we're going to drive up towards the uh, test subject so that's in the uh, field of view. There it is. Oh, let me go back. You can also see the indicators here indicating uh, whether or not it was a good read or bad, or if it's too close or too far. Also, you get a color indicator. The numbers inside, the 15, represents the pixel height. You want the pixel height for optimization to be between 14 and 18. Switching over color, you can see the plate. 
and switch it back to infrared. Now let's see me as I adjust the camera while looking at that same uh, screen that I just showed you. So now I open up the door, I look at the uh, MDC inside. Sometimes it's helpful if you have two people, but it was just me. So I'm looking at the, at the feed in infrared again, adjusting the camera so it moves around and make sure that that plate, because I determined it was a middle, uh, middle plate in height, falls within that middle box. Once I adjust it, I secure the camera and go back inside. Now let's see what it looks like as I was adjusting it. Again, uh, my distance is good. Uh, I have my character height. It falls between 14 and 18. And now I need to reposition this so that that plate falls right in the middle where medium plate uh, is designated there for optimization. And there you go. I got a 16 character height. It's good. It's I'm in the green. I can click on the video. There's the same car. Now you can see how close I actually am. This is just to show you uh, as I pulled up about the distance. This should be about 17 feet again from the test subject. Angled down at that plate. Now let's uh, see the camera actually scanning on the street. We're going to watch a live feed of the video as I'm driving around and watch it scan. And you can see that even though I aimed it in a parking lot, a perpendicular, it's picking up those parallel parked vehicles just fine. Now, let's look at some key takeaways. One, uh, identify and place the cameras. Understand which camera type you're using and where it should be mounted. Again, a 25 millimeters on the front on the passenger side, 60 millimeter would be on the passenger side, but behind the 25 millimeter camera. Make sure you aim, uh, use large parking lots, give you plenty of distance. Make sure that the distance from the camera to the test plate uh, is within reason. Anything uh, too far or too close reduces accuracy levels. Use the software aiming tool. In the software, click on that button there and use it. That's what it's there for. Um, we, we try making it very easy for you. Now, when this pulls up, remember, you should have infrared. You should only be aiming at infrared. You should uh, be at a good distance. If this was a bad distance, it'd be red. Your pixel height, make sure it falls between 14 and 18. This is the full viewing area for the plate. If it fell over here, it still would read it, but this is, this is for optimal. This is a medium plate. We want that to fall within this area of this box. And we adjust the camera accordingly so that that plate always falls in there. Had you been capturing plates coming at you uh, in the left lane over, typically those are lower plates and you want those to be um, in that box there for low plate. There are some rear plates that are considered low and there are some high. Uh, for a 16 millimeter and a 25 millimeter, you still use the aim in tool. The only difference is how you mount it in the application. Uh, there you can see a 16 and a 25 mounted on a vehicle. Uh, remember, use the aim in tool, it's the same. And one of the most important things is do periodic uh, checking of the aim in. Um, police vehicles go through a lot, cameras will move over time. Just remember that without proper camera placement and aim in, the system will not work to its full potential. Uh, accuracy will go down. And that will conclude the video, and I'd like to thank you for watching.